everybody to uh, TTP's Year of Wanderlust. This is day 343. I am in Sapa right now. And uh, as you can see behind me, there's the rice terrace. The rice terraces, I guess. Um, so I am now in Sapa, which is in the northwest. It's in the northwest of Vietnam. And this place is most famous, I mean, I can, as you can see behind me, this place is most famous for its uh, rice terrace. And it's a really nice day today. Finally, the last couple, I've been here for two days now, and the last two days, the weather had been quite, well, I mean, really quite shitty, right? And um, finally, the weather is better today, and it's good. I'm glad that's better today. Like, so today I, get, I did a little nice drive through the, you know, You look behind me, all of the villages. I drove through the path, all the way around there, through some of the ethnic minorities. Um, I don't know how much you know about Sapa, but you know here, this is where the local mountain tribes, this is where they live and where they make a living. And as you can see, you know, they they have two main, um, you can say two main, two main sources of income. The first one is farming, rice farming, and the next is tourism. Um, and then so. I actually came a little bit too early. It, they haven't planted the rice patties, the rice yet. So it's a, it's a bummer, but I mean, you can imagine how it would be maybe in a month or so where all of this is covered in greenery. And then maybe because they only harvest plant once a year. So they harvest in September. So imagine this right here, it's like yellow. It's really pretty. I can imagine in the, um, by September-ish when they do the harvesting. Uh, I'll be here in Sapa for, for another day tomorrow and then after that I'll be heading to uh, Halong Bay. No, actually Hanoi first and then Halong Bay. So, you know, Sapa is a great place to visit. Um, still not that very touristy. I mean, you know, not a lot of foreign tourists know about it. Mainly a lot of local Vietnamese, they come here, especially on the weekend, like a weekend trip from Hanoi. Um, for the ethnic minorities that live up here, you have the Hmong people, the Yao, uh, the red yao, the black yao, um, and then so you know they have their own little community up here, and it's really cool. I mean, their their um, their regular everyday clothing is uh, very very colorful. Um, I wish you can see it actually. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have it some some photos up so you can see how co how colorful it is. And I'm sitting here. This is where I guess in the future they'll probably try and make this into a rice paddy. So you can see there's just cows here and everything. Uh, the sun is setting across the mountains. You can see you. You know, I'm surrounded by mountains, right? It's really pretty, really nice and scenic, uh, really peaceful, not that touristy. I highly recommend coming here. Uh, you know, come here, support the locals with your money. You know, maybe you can learn a little bit thing, a little bit about the, the everyday life as well. I didn't do the homestay, but I recommend it. I guess if you want to get a feel as to how the mountain, the mountain tribes had to do their living here, I just didn't feel like it, to be honest. Um, there's the sun setting up behind me. You know, as you can see there. Uh, the fields is really pretty, really nice, not that, not that touristy. Um, I highly recommend coming here one more time. You know, right now it is March, early March, so the weather is great. I mean, look, look around me. I mean, today the weather has been great. Uh, I recommend coming around this time or come around in September when they have the harvesting. Yeah? Any case, uh, that's it for me. Doing great. Hope you guys are, thanks for following me. And I hope you share this with your friends and maybe they can learn a little bit more about um, you know, my travels and everything. Alright, have a good trip.